How do you do, sport fans? This is Bob Elson bidding you welcome to Wrestling Champions, the greatest show on earth, featuring the world's greatest wrestlers, direct from Chicago, the wrestling capital of the world, produced by Sports Publicity Institute. matches under the rules and regulation of the International Wrestling Alliance, under the supervision and sanction of the State Athletic Commission and promoted by Fred Kola. The officials are signed tonight by the commission. Attending physicians, he's at the ringside, Dr. Seraphine Domingue, the timekeeper, Bob Klaus, and the referee, Bill Finfa. An Australian tag team match Best two out of three team falls with a 45 minute time limit. Weighing 245 pounds from Canada, Ruth Bernard. His partner weighing 246 pounds from Clark Island, Skull Murphy. Their opponents weighing 225 pounds, Rudy Jacobs. His teammate weighed 240 pounds, Harry Wenzel. From Bavaria, Germany, the Bavarian boys. Two out of three balls, 45 minute time limit. There you have it, fans, the introductions. And the first match, a tag team match on wrestling champions from Chicago. The famous Bavarian boys, Rudy Jacobs and Harry Wenzel, and their opponents, two very tough-looking characters, Brute Bernard and Skull Murphy. Murphy is from Cork, Ireland, weighs 242, is completely bald. He claims this gives him an edge in squirming out of headlocks clamped down by his opponents. Bernard is a native of Toronto, Canada, and weighs around 240. He's been wrestling mostly in Michigan and Canada, and is known for his rough style. So just about anything will go here. Uh, these guys will try to get away with anything. That's Bernard and Murphy, and there you got a good look at them. This should be quite a match. Two out of three falls. A tag team match on wrestling champions from Chicago. <laughs> Harry Wenzel and Brute Bernard are going to start it off, and there's a side headlock to get the match underway. And Skull Murphy gets a little hair for himself over there. Well, one of the things you'll notice about tag team matches is that the partners always want to get into the ring. They want to get everybody in the act at the same time. And it always means that the referee is going to really have himself a night's work. Harry Wenzel trying for a... Or Harry Wenzel... Uh, The flying mare goes sailing down onto the mat. And now it is Skull Murphy in there with him. And there's a look at Rudy Jacobs out there on the apron. Now Rudy Jacobs 
is in the ring for the first time. One of the other Bavarian boys. And he's trying to get a pin here on Skull, but Brute gets into the act again. Now he's got him tied up in those ropes. Rudy Jacobs of the Bavarian boys. And goes over and tags his partner, Harry Wenzel. That's Brute. Brute Bernard is taking it. And Skull Murphy came in and he got a little bit of a fun. A tag and Rudy Jacobs comes back in. Well, the Bavarians having themselves a time here in this early minutes of this match on wrestling champions from Chicago. Rudy goes over and tags and Harry comes in to take on Bruce Bernard. That's Harry Wenzel of the Bavarian being straddled across the ropes. And there's his partner, Rudy Jacobs. And the referee is trying to get him out of the ring. Harry finally falls off the ropes into the corner. Boys have got him over there and continue to work two on one. If the referee gets to four, it's an automatic disqualification and a loss of a fall. You notice they usually break promptly at three. And there they break again at three. Harry Wenzel would like to tag his partner Rudy Jacobs and get him in there, but he can't reach him. Harry's coming in anyway. Well, Brute Bernard and Skull Murphy from Ireland and Canada, working on the Bavarian ball. And right now, working on Harry Wenzel. One, two, three, and a pin. for the official decision and the time of that team fall. The time, five minutes and 15 seconds. The body press, the winner of the first team fall, Ruth Bernard and Skull Murphy. 